previously on the season. Okay, we've got a goal that we set ourselves. Okay, undefeated. Mike! Seriously, the ball carrying is a disgrace. Go and enjoy the second half. It's the last half of footy this season. Trouble there. Trouble. In this this corner or something. Ah. What are your thoughts on what? It's alright then. Eh? Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't really like guac though. Some burrito bowl or something. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have training today or something? I think we've got training with Shava. Jim should be alright though, because I think it's gonna be um legs. Need that. Yeah. Wait, how about Rocco though? The Rocco kid? Yeah, he's actually good, eh? Yeah, he was supposed to go to TSS, but he ended up here. Yeah, yeah he's good, eh? Yeah. He's only grade 10. Like, when he first came, I thought he was, um, like, just too small and stuff. But he's actually yeah. good. He didn't look like, like a, a threat player. Nah. Daniel's been crazy this year. He's going to be a big impact on the team. Do you reckon he might be captain? Ooh. Yeah, it could be, eh? Yeah, him, maybe Tony. Him, Tony. Awahu. The lunchtime discussions aren't exactly strategic, but they shape player expectations. He's a good leader, though. And the prospects that lie before them. He's like, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, same as Tony, but Tony just talks a lot. Nudgy Rugby's long-term strength emanates from a bottom-up approach with development at its core. The program is twofold. One of them is a high performance program and I think that runs parallel to a participation program. And then also we have the whole community element that sort of sits over the top of all of it. Um, I think the rugby program provides not just the current students with an experience but the wider community as well. It's kind of an all-encompassing beast. Look, I think it's a world-class pro program, to be honest. Um, Sean Graham running the program and, and his ability to develop younger players in terms of their basic skill set, catch, pass, tack, track, tackle, all those type of things. When we get them at first 15, it's a byproduct of the years of work that's gone into those kids, you know, since they were 12, 13, 14. <laughs> Go, 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 go. Sean's ability to also get real good class coaches involved in the program sets them apart, you know, from, from some other programs I've been involved in. Whether it be like in the gym or like on the field or whatever, it's sort of, they cater for all age groups throughout the program, I reckon. And, you know, when you're young, everyone wants to be in the first 15 and so they want to try hard at training and they want to give it their all and the competitive nature of Nudgy Rugby's what inspires like the young boys to um, sign up and have a go and I reckon that's why it's so strong. Oh, I'm pumped. I mean, I think we've got a really strong group of boys, A's, B's, C's, all the way down to the F's. Um, good coaches, we're all encouraging each other. Training really well and hard in the pre-season, so yeah, I'm very excited going into the season. Oh, it's been great. Like we've, we've get to know each other. We've yeah built build on the pre-season and really like polish things off, ready for the the, the main event. If you look at the program from our under 13s all the way through, particularly the guys that you're seeing in the gym, is there anything that you think that we need to do differently this year, season 2021? I think we're moving pretty well. A couple of things from my end, we want to make sure that they're, we're, we're testing them better so we're getting a better understanding of where they're finishing each age group. And so then, what, what, what sort of things so we do just, you want to test? 
some things, um, obviously we're just going to be doing our, our, our usual stuff, so height and weight um, monitoring, um, looking at ideas um, like movement competency based ideas. Um, so can they do a squat? Can they do a lunge for the younger age groups? And then as they're progressing up and getting further, you know, what are those numbers at compared to their body weight? I think we judge the success of our program on the experience and the satisfaction that the boys have um, at the end of their journey. We've got some boys that are here to play in a social participation type way and then also others that are here to be on a journey to become a professional athlete. But the reality is there's only a very small minority that get that opportunity to continue on in a professional pathway. So for us, it's not about creating wallabies. It's about providing the resources and the support to cater for whatever the individual wants to get out of their experience. Sean Graham and Nudgy Rugby are not taking the reputation for granted with a steadfast resolve to improve across the program every season. Is there a better way, particularly through pre-season, where we could group, say, 13s and 14s together, even 13s, 14s and 15s together, and then actually put them in their maturation age rather than their actual yeah. age? My only concern with doing that is that then you're taking away the fabric of the group training together. Yeah. Um, and the one thing you want to do is you want guys training with their mates. All right, guys, lunge with overhead reach out to the five. Up nice and tall. Good. Inchworms, guys. Inchworms from the yellow to the 22. Up nice and high on that trail leg. Nice and high on that trail leg. Lose. Can't lose him, Curry. Lose him, Curry. Oh, but I'm really impressed with the boys. They're ripping in. I've yeah, noticed you know. a dip in the whole school this week. Did you? Yeah. Well, let's hope they don't dip on Saturday. Yeah. It's about time for a good good weekend of football, mate. No yeah, wind and no rain, you know, like. Mate, I'll tell you, Curry. One sign, minute! Sign that kid now. Yeah. Sign him. Yeah. He's, um, Get it over and done with, mate, because that, that bloke is going to be a good pro player. Oh, mate, look, look at his frame. He's got big hips, you know, like. I reckon, and, and, and he's like a sponge. He just yeah. he soaks information up yeah. and a real committed kid. All right, on with me. Let's go boys, on the trot, on the trot, let's go! Natty, a bit of contact, eh? Bring the love. All he's gonna try and do is long place. Now, if he goes long place, go, all right, and I catch him like that, he's gotta keep working in any direction to get a long place out. Let's go, mate, let's go. Just think it's a nice little pepper steak pie there, mate. Even at schoolboy level, the complexities of the team game are divided between backs and forwards. Push him down, push him down, push him down. Go hunt, hunt, hunt that, there we go. With each unit having its own micro goals, as well as a collective team mission. Go low chop, low chop. We wanted to be, be the best set piece in the competition, best scrum and best line out. And we also wanted to be a, a team that uh, could rely on its maul, but equally take, take away attacking platforms from opposition teams. As a forwards coach and set piece coach, that's uh, always the aim is just to be the best in the competition, you know. Daniel, there was nothing coming through from you blokes. You've got to chase us through here. And Set! And no! Oh, hold, Spooky! Yes. The difference there came from the back five, so you've got to chase us through. Well done. No, well, you can't keep that way. That's unfair. Stop chatting your scrum, bro. This is something you can't do. Thank you, thank you. I don't scrum though, mate. Squeeze! Squeeze! Stay low! Stay low. Last one, last one. Next one. It's always next, next one, one bro. It's always next one. <laughs> Love it, boys. Next one's another injury. Let's go. Last one, last one. Set! In one, two, three, squeeze! Squeeze! And down! Two, three! Yeah, Bock is here. Yeah, Bock, Bock here. Still in. Two, one. 
As the Fords muscle down in the engine room, Good exit. the backs run their moves, with two year 12s preparing for their final stint in the blue white blue. Yeah, every time you carry and we exit, you just come back to the middle, and me and Louis will go. Feel me. <laughs> I went to a school on the Sunshine Coast, Siena Catholic College. So I started at Nudgee in term four in year nine in 2017. But watching a lot of videos, like YouTube videos, got me really excited and I thought, oh, I really want to come to this school and yeah, that really motivated me. Talked to my parents and it all happened. Willie, Willie, Willie. left post, go to the post, go to the post. Tight, up again, up again, Liam. And again, now get in there. Obviously Nudgee's a massive place and it was a bit scary walking in there for the first time. I remember my first couple of days I got lost a couple of times and it was pretty scary. Feel to the back, to the back, to the back. Drive here, to the post, to the post. Obviously it's an old boys school and the school I went to was co-ed so um, being around just boys all the time was a different experience for me. Started rugby in year 10, played in the 15 Bs and had a really good year there with a lot of mates and made a lot of good mates. In front of 15s I was playing different positions so in under 16s I started playing halfback, which is the position I play now, and I developed really nicely through there, just kept progressing. Here, hammer Liam, hammer Liam. Here we go, thank you here, thank you here, blah, 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 blah. Tony on here, beat a Robbie, beat a Robbie. So I came here um, to Nudgee in grade five, and uh, obviously played rugby the minute I got here. Every year I've loved it, every year played, played rugby. Um, it's been a huge part of my time here. Eight, nine, eight, nine. Oh, if nine gets outside, Scott, I got him. Each year, you know, being in the in the squad, you spend a lot of time together, so it has a huge influence on your your time at Nudgee, I guess. Hey, good feet. <laughs> yeah. I always had ambition to play first fifteen uh, from a young age, but it was definitely in 20, 2018 when I saw my brothers playing that I definitely thought it was it was a realistic thing to happen. I debuted in 2020 which is when it was, um, there was no crowds or anything, so you weren't running out in front of your, your mates and, and your family. You, it was basically just you, the team, and you know, a few coaches and a couple lucky parents that got to go out. No such restrictions for round one, as Nudgee kick off the 2021 march to the title. next time on the season. We knew going into that game that it was going to be really hard. Oh, Louis, he hasn't let him go. Oh my God. How much do they want it? Goal line D. Hold him up. No penalties, just smash him. What happened there? He's just caught a forward pass off the tap. <laughs>